Bill Nye, the iconic science communicator, has spent over 30 years turning complex scientific concepts into engaging content for all ages. His work on Bill Nye the Science Guy and Bill Nye Saves the World transforms science into a thrilling adventure. Recently, he has focused on the groundbreaking discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, highlighting humanity's leap in understanding the cosmos. The JWST is a marvel of engineering and collaboration, built by NASA with contributions from European and Canadian space agencies. The telescope cost $10 billion and took 20 years to design. Its 21-foot primary mirror, made of 18 gold-coated beryllium segments, unfolds like origami in space. Unlike the Hubble Space Telescope, the JWST orbits the Sun at Lagrange Point 2, a gravitational sweet spot that aligns it with Earth's shadow for uninterrupted views. Infrared vision is the JWST's superpower. While visible light is absorbed by cosmic dust, infrared wavelengths slip through, revealing hidden stellar nurseries and ancient galaxies. For example, its image of SMACSO723, a galaxy cluster, acts as a gravitational lens, magnifying light from galaxies over 13 billion years old. This deep field image captures thousands of galaxies in a patch of sky the size of a grain of sand held at arm's length. Bill Nye calls JWST a cosmic time capsule. The light from these galaxies traveled 13 billion years, showing the universe just 300 million years after the Big Bang. This era, known as the Cosmic Dawn, marks the birth of the first stars and galaxies. JWST data reveals that these early galaxies were brighter and more structured than predicted, hinting at unknown physical processes in the young universe. One groundbreaking discovery is the presence of water vapor in the atmosphere of WASP-96b, a gas giant located 1,150 light years away. Despite temperatures hitting 1,000 degrees Celsius, water persists as vapor, a clue to potential habitability. Juiced study of TRAPPIST-1, a dwarf star with seven Earth-sized planets, has been revolutionary. Three of these planets lie in the habitable zone, where liquid water could exist. Analysis of TRAPPIST-1e suggests a thin atmosphere with possible carbon dioxide, not proof of life but evidence that rocky exoplanets can retain atmospheres despite intense stellar radiation. The telescope also illuminates star death. Its image of the Southern Ring Nebula shows concentric gas shells ejected by a dying star. Hidden within is a white dwarf, the star's remnant core. Studying such nebulae teaches us how stars recycle material into space, seeding future generations with heavy elements like oxygen and carbon. Joost's infrared eyes pierced the dust of the Orion Nebula, a stellar nursery 1,344 light years away, revealing protoplanetary disks, rings of gas and dust around young stars where planets form. Some disks have gaps carved by newborn planets, offering a direct glimpse into planet formation. Bill Nye notes this could help explain Earth-like worlds and our solar system's origins. Supernova studies are also being rewritten. When JWST captured SN2022A, it detected nickel and cobalt forged in the explosion. These elements enrich interstellar clouds, becoming part of new stars and planets. Without supernovae, life's building blocks like iron in blood or calcium in bones wouldn't exist. Nye calls this stellar alchemy, describing the universe recycling itself into life. Joost's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, mapped the Large Magellanic Cloud, a satellite galaxy of the Milky Way, in unprecedented detail. It revealed dust networks warmed by young stars, showing galactic evolution through cycles of star birth and death. MIRI also spotted organic molecules like polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, potential building blocks for life. Black holes remain a major focus. JWST observed Quasar J1012 plus 282, powered by a 12 billion solar mass black hole. How such giants formed so early in the universe puzzles scientists. Data suggests they grew by devouring gas and merging, but their rapid growth challenges existing theories. Joost's public data releases democratize science. Amateurs worldwide, like a high school student in India, have analyzed its images, discovering overlooked dwarf galaxies. 
This proves breakthroughs aren't limited to experts. Engineering feats like JWST's cryocooler system, which keeps instruments at 267 degrees Celsius, are critical. The system's precision is likened to balancing a pencil on its tip on the moon. Flawless execution has extended its mission beyond expectations. The telescope's fuel efficiency stunned engineers. Joost's thrusters, originally budgeted for 10 years, may last 20 plus years due to precise launch conditions. This extension allows it to observe star births that will outlive humanity, serving as a humbling reminder of cosmic timescales. Culturally, JWST's images inspire art, music, and poetry. One composer translated spectral data into music, turning light into sound. Nye praises this fusion, noting that, science and art seek truth through observation. Ethical debates about spending billions on space amid the climate crisis are ongoing. Nye argues that JWST spin-offs, like improved medical imaging and climate models, benefit Earth. Its global collaboration, involving 14 countries, is a beacon of cooperation in divided times. Future missions will study icy moons like Europa and Enceladus, analyzing water plumes for organic molecules and discovering microbial life that would revolutionize biology. Bill Nye's final take? JWST is humanity's shared eye on the cosmos. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.